Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. That's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. So best part of this effect that you don't need to have any external plugins or high quality equipment. To make this effect you need to have any version of After Effects. I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. I had to take some freelance jobs. So hopefully I'm coming back to the schedule and I'll try to make one tutorial a week. Let's get started. I'm using After Effects CC 2015, but you can have any version of After Effects. So go to File, Import, File. Link to this footage will be in description, so you would be able to follow along with this tutorial. Click Import. Then left mouse click and drag on this icon here to create new composition. First of all, let's track our hand. So let's track from this moment. Select your layer, go to Animation, Track Motion. To zoom in and out, use your scroll on the mouse. I'm gonna set my tracking point about here. So with this little square we are showing what we're looking for, and with this bigger square we are showing where we're looking for. So let's click here to analyze forward. You can stop at any moment and press spacebar to move along with your image, like this. And let's continue. As you can see we lost our tracker, so we need to go back to the previous frames by clicking here. And by clicking here we can analyze one frame at a time. So let's fix it. Okay, it looks good. Let's analyze forward. Now with this time cursor we can go back to the first frame. To see here. And analyze these few frames. Okay, it looks good. Let's go to layer, new, null object. Then we need to assign our tracking data to this null object. So click here edit target and choose our null object and click OK. And then here apply and OK. As you can see all our tracking data now is on our null object. OK, now let's create new solid to make our sword. Go to layer, new, solid. Let's call it sword and width let's make it two times longer. I just multiply by 2 and click OK. So what's cool about this effect that anyone can do this because I'm using preset which already built in in After Effects. Even if you are new to After Effects you will be able to make this effect. So here in Effects and Presets let's type Smoke. We need to select this Smoke Rising. Click and drag onto our layer. So this is our effect. We need to make a few adjustments so it would look right. Let's go to transform and here in scale width let's set it to 1000 and scale height let's set it to 125. You can play with this value to find the look which you like. I'll set it to 15. If we shut this layer off you can see that I spread in my arms. I want to have some flow in this energy. So let's enable our layer and to make this move we are going to our fractal noise and here in offset turbulence let's click on this stopwatch. Let's press U on keyboard to see our keyframes. Also we can see this animation. So let's spread these keyframes to all length of our composition. Just select all of them and spread like this. Now let's select our keyframe from offset turbulence. Let's also move it to our time cursor here. Here let's set it to zero. Move it over. And let's set it to about 4000. And move it over here. So now as you can see we have this flow motion. If you want to make this flow a lot slower with value on this keyframe, you can adjust the speed of your flow. Let's set it to 2500. Now let's close this tab here and click here along with this icon of 3D layer to make this layer 3D. Press A on keyboard and by changing this value we can move our anchor point. So let's set it here to 0 and here also 0. And now our goal to move this layer to this hand here. So let's press S on keyboard to bring up the scale. And let's make it smaller. Let's move it over here. And now let's press R on keyboard to rotate it. And now before rotating it, 
let's make it look like a sword. Let's choose this pen tool and let's cut out our sword. Try to make not more than 4 points, like this. And now once we closed our mask, we can adjust our points. We can also change the color of the mask. Just press M on keyboard. And let's change to some color which we can see better. And now we can adjust these handles to make it look more like a sword from Doctor Strange movie. Then press F on keyboard and let's set feather to about 250. It looks good, but we can create another point here and move it like here to have this sharp edge. And now let's press R on keyboard to rotate our layer. As you can see, we are using three dimensional layer, so we can rotate in any direction. Just try to avoid these kinds of directions or these kinds of directions. In all other directions you will be fine. So first I want to change this X rotation. We are trying to rotate our sword so it would be parallel to the ground. Also I want to change this orientation like this and then change this Z rotation. As you can see it's still too big so let's press S on keyboard to make it smaller. So once you're happy with the placement of your sword, you need to parent it to this null object. Just click on this pick whip and drag to this null object. So now it's stuck to our hand. I'm gonna set my scale to 23. Okay, it looks good. And now let's press R to adjust our rotation. You can also press Ctrl, Shift and H on keyboard to hide all of these outlines to better see our effect. So let's adjust our rotation. So about here, let's adjust our rotation and create first keyframe. Also press F9 on keyboard to make this keyframe softer. It means that animation will be a lot smoother. And about here, let's rotate it a bit. Like this. So it would match our motion a lot better. I'm gonna set it to minus 29. Okay, it looks good. And about from this moment, I'm gonna set another keyframe. And by looking on this hand, I can see how much I need to rotate. It looks like 37 is good. So here I recommend to spend some time to match your motion right. I'm gonna leave as it is. And now let's make here invisible. So for this we need to press M on keyboard and create keyframe just about here. Let's create keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch. And here where it starts, let's press Ctrl Shift H to see our outline. And let's adjust these points. Just click like here. And now you're able to move these points around. Let's drag by these handles to make this mask a lot smaller. So our goal here to move all of these points a lot closer to each other. Again, let's select these keyframes and press F9 on keyboard. It will make animation of this mask a lot smoother. As you can see it looks pretty good, but we can also adjust speed of our animation. Let's select this first keyframe and click on this icon. So how we can read this graph? Here nothing is happening. Here it goes faster, faster, faster and then slower and slower. So with these handles we can adjust our speed. So by moving like this, we can see that it will go a lot faster at the beginning and a lot slower at the end. So now let's see here. And now as you can see it matches our hand movement a lot better. Okay, I'm happy with this result. Let's click on this icon here again to close it. And let's also close it here. And once we got all of this right, we finally arrived to the fun part of this tutorial. So first we need to select these both layers by clicking one of them, then press shift and click on other one. Press Ctrl D to duplicate like this and move it on top and then select these both layers. Go to layer, precompose. We will call it displacement map and click OK. We can shut this composition off and also we can shut this layer off for now. And now let's create adjustment layer. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. And here let's type displacement map. Then click and drag on our adjustment layer. So this effect looks at our displacement map layer and then uses light information to displace our footage. So we need to choose our displacement map, which we just created. Let's scroll here and change here to luminance and luminance. So it would look at light and dark parts of our displacement map. And let's play with these two values. 
As you can see with these two values, you can adjust how much the image will be distorted. So here you can adjust as you like. I'm gonna leave like this for this tutorial. And here as you can see we have some problem which we don't want. So to fix this you need to go to edge behavior and click on this checkbox. As you can see it fixes our problem. And now let's add some extra details. As you know we left these two layers here. So let's enable it. Also let's click here on toggle switch. And let's change mode of this layer to add. And by pressing T on keyboard you can adjust this extra light on our sword. We have this problem again. So all you need to do is just to drag our sword on top like this. So now as you can see with this layer we have some extra light. You can also go to effect, color correction curves and make this S shape. It will make this extra light a lot sharper. If you like this effect give it thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials on popular movies. Also if you want to have some free music or After Effects templates you can go to this site and scroll down here, you can grab some maze free items, like music, after effects template and more. It will be free only this month. Also they have a lot more templates, but I leave it to you to explore. Links to this free stuff is in description. I hope you like this effect, uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.